let's see about eyelid disorders the three main eyelid disorders are hodiolum externum hodiolum internum and chalazion we'll see one by one in detail first external hodiolum also called as sty the external hodiolum is an acute suppurative inflammation of the follicles of eyelashes that is it is the inflammation of the glands of zees or mole which are accessory lacrimation glands the glands of zees are sebaceous glands whereas the glands of mole are sweat glands In this image shows hodiolum externum that is the sty etiology for sty most commonly it is due to infection by staphylococcus aureus the other etiologies are due to habitual rubbing of the eyes and increased intake of carbohydrates can also lead to sty symptoms the symptoms include acute pain associated with swelling of eyelid mild watering and there can be photophobia here the pus point is towards the eyelid margin signs there are two stages of hodiolum externum first stage is stage of cellulitis and it is followed by the second stage stage of abscess formation in stage of cellulitis there is localized firm red tender swelling at the lid margin which is associated with edema whereas in stage of abscess formation there is visible pus point on the lid margin treatment for hodiolum externum hot compresses given 2 to 3 times a day helps in reduction of the swelling and the pain the other treatment modality is epilation of the involved cilia surgical incision which is done for large abscesses to drain the abscess antibiotic eye drops given 3 to 4 times a day and antibiotic ointment which is given at bedtime systemic anti inflammatory analgesics to relieve pain and to reduce the edema systemic antibiotics to control the infection and in case of recurrent styes we should treat the predisposing conditions the second disease of the eyelid is internal hodiolum which is due to acute suppurative inflammation of the meibomian gland which is also an accessory lacrimal gland etiology is due to infection by staphylococcus aureus or it occurs secondary to chalazion when a chalazion gets infected it turns into internal hodiolum clinical features the symptoms are same as hodiolum externum which is acute pain lid swelling mild watering and photophobia signs there is localized firm red tender swelling with marked edema and the pus point is usually towards the tarsal conjunctiva that is why this is called as internal hodiolum next the treatment treatment is same as hodiolum internum except that when pus point is formed it should be drained by vertical incision from the tarsal conjunctiva why vertical incision this is because the meibomian gland ducts run vertically so if we give a horizontal incision in the tarsal conjunctiva we will injure the meibomian gland ducts that is why the incision should be given vertically then the third eyelid condition is chronic non suppurative lipogranulomatous inflammation of the meibomian gland called as chalazion so this is a non infective condition and this is the commonest of all the lid lumps so this is also called as star cell or meibomian cyst because here it is also the inflammation of the meibomian gland etiology for chalazion the predisposing factors are same as hodiolum externum that is the recurrent rubbing of the eyelids etc next pathogenesis mild infection of the meibomian gland leads to proliferation of the epithelium due to which the ducts get blocked due to the proliferated epithelium leading to retention of the sebum and the extravasations act like an irritant and they excite the non infective lipogranulomatous inflammation of the blocked gland this is the pathogenesis behind chalazion symptoms here characteristically the swelling is painless and it gradually increases in size there is mild heaviness of eyelids also there can be blurred vision 
and watering that is epiphora. The blurred vision can be due to the chalazion compressing the cornea leading to astigmatism. Treatment, conservative treatment like hot fermentation, topical antibiotic eye drops and oral anti-inflammatory drugs can be helpful. Then intralesional injection of long acting steroids like triamcin alone is also one of the treatment modality. Third is incision and curettage. Surface anesthesia, 2% xylocaine is given. Then we give a vertical incision because of the same reason as that of internal chalazion to avoid damage to the meibomian gland ducts which run vertically. Then the contents are curated out by the chalazion scoop. Then we give carbolic acid cautery followed by neutralization with methylated spirit to avoid recurrence. And this step is followed by patching of the eye and post operative care. So this is the incision and curettage done for chalazion. Next the other treatment modalities can be diathermy and oral tetracycline can be given as prophylactic in recurrent chalazion conditions. One important point to note is that in recurrent chalazion the malignancy should be ruled out because malignancy can be one of the causes for recurrent chalazion formation. So summary of what all we have seen, the three main eyelid diseases are hordeolum externum that is the sty, next is hordeolum internum and chalazion. First hordeolum externum which is an acute suppurative inflammation of glands of Z's or mole. Here there is painful red swelling and the pus point is on the lid margin. Two stages, stage of cellulitis and stage of abscess formation. Treatment is all these hot compression, epilation of involved cilia, surgical incision with antibiotic eye drops, NSAIDs and analgesics, systemic antibiotics. Next, hordeolum internum is acute superative inflammation of the meibomian gland. Here also the clinical presentation is same as that of sty and the pus point is towards the tarsal conjunctiva. Treatment is also same as that of hordeolum internum except that when pus is formed it should be drained by vertical incision from the tarsal conjunctiva. Chalazion is non separative chronic lipogranulomatous inflammation of the meibomian gland and this is the commonest also called as tarsal or meibomian cyst and one important point to note is that chalazions are usually formed on the lateral one third of the eyelid and they are more common on the upper eyelid comparatively. So then we have seen the predisposing factors and pathogenesis. Symptoms, the characteristic is painless swelling which gradually increases in size. Next the treatment, conservative, intralational steroids, incision and curettage, diathermy and oral tetracycline can be given as prophylactic in recurrent chalazion. Thank you.